the louse and the mosquito in the king's bed creep the louse lived in her ancestral house they had dwelt here as of right for 3 decades and each night she and her enormous brood drank the king's blood for their food once the signal came from creep that the king was fast asleep quietly discreetly they nipped and sipped and drank away sons and grandsons sisters and brothers great granddaughters great grandmothers second cousins and their wives thus pursued their gentle lives lives of undisturbed delight growing plump and smooth and white one day a mosquito flew through the window as it drew closer to the velvet bed canopied with gold he said lovely just the place for me ah what perfume let me see rose no a jasmine and the quilt smooth as banks of ganges silt let me test the bed springs now so he jumped up and somehow in a parabolic leap landed not too far from creep so mosquito flap your wings leave at once this bed's the king's who may you be lady louse i'm the guardian of this house house this quilt it's mine said creep there's no place for you sir leap let me sleep here for one night and i'll catch the morning flight does the sad mosquito pleaded and at last his prayers were heeded for the tender hearted creep could not bear to watch him weep well come in she said at last but tonight you'll have to fast for a no account may you bite him as we are trained to do we can drink and cause no pain loss of royal sleep or stain you i fear would cause all three i can't risk my family but the glib mosquito cried now you've let me come inside lady louse how can you be cold in hospitality just one bite i ask no more for i've learned from learned law that the royal blood contains remedies for aches and pains ginger honey sugar spice cardamom and all things nice save me i'm in broken health let me bite him once by stealth he won't even shift or sigh cross my heart and hope to die finally the louse agreed right she said but pay close heed wait till wine fatigue or deep dream enriched unbroken sleep has enveloped him then go lightly nip his little toe yes 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 that's all old hat said sir leap i know all that keep your stale advice he smiled seriously i'm not a child it was only afternoon fairly early fairly soon when the king came for a snooze doffed his crown and shirt and shoes lay down on the bed and sighed the mosquito almost died from excitement shock and sweat no the louse cried no not yet but too late the self-willed bumbler oh if 
only he'd been humbler, rushing to the rash attack, leapt upon the royal back, and with fierce and fiery sting, deeply dirked the dozen king. Help! A scorpion! A snake! screamed the king at once awake. I've been bitten. Search the bed. Find and strike the creature dead. When they made a close inspection, the mosquito foiled detection. Hidden in the canopy, but the louse clan could not flee. All were killed without a door. Meanwhile, the mosquito flew. Looking out for further prey, humming mildly on his way.